we found a bedding spot. I'm gonna lay on it. You can tell it's old. Before I lay on it, let's just look at it for hair and, and whatnot. You can tell this was used a while ago, and maybe even recently. There's fresh and old, broken and brought and laid down here. You know, something with something with the ability to snap and make a nest made this. I just want to lay down on it. Probably hasn't been used for some time. I don't know, something twice the size of me could lay under this. This is a heavily reported siding area. So, anyway, that's a that's an old nest. Be nice to find some hairs in there. I don't see anything right now. I kind of looked before I laid down on it, so I wouldn't ruin any of them. This is the bedding spot, and um, we found this 14-inch footprint, which is concurrent with the resident female. We measured the width, the toes, the toes are splayed. She's like splaying them almost like eight inches. At the hill, the inside of the hill is, uh, uh, looks to me like uh, six inches or less. That's pretty definitive to me and it was right next to a, a bedding structure. Something back here has been sleeping and it leaves a very squatchy footprint. We found a 14 inch footprint. We found a few more, but this one's the deepest and stuff. We think it was made when uh, the ground was wet and mud after a rainfall because uh, it made a bed right here. Out here, we find a print that looks like it was made in the mud. In the Rocky Mountains, the soil is really rocky up here. Six inches wide, nearly 14 inches long. And I hope this dries quick because it sounds like another thunderstorm is coming in. Um, Brody and Jenny standing by another print that we found that's not as definitive as this one. We'll see how the cast turns out, but yeah, 14 incher. It's either an adult female or um, a large juvenile male that's still growing. We've heard um, some whoops and some rock clacks, and I'm gonna go up ahead and look at these other footprints. Okay, we're waiting during a storm. We put a plastic bag over the cast we made of the 14 incher, but here's a 17 inch print that we found on the other side of the pond. The hill comes right around here. And then go along the edge going up to where it busted into, I mean, this took a lot of weight and strength. It really busted into that log right with the toes up at the front. We don't have enough casting material to cast this 17 incher. You know, that 14 incher was too good to pass up. This is the heel. Oh yeah. And then it goes right down into there and there's the... And I'm going to measure the, uh, the width of this thing too. It's a good 17 incher and it weighed a lot um, to do this. Let's get it the other direction. Yeah. It's about 7 inches wide at the widest spot up by the toes. Dang rain. Yeah. It's a big boy. He's about 17 inches in his foot size. And there's a lot of destruction in uh, his feet. structures and snap His hill is five. He's got a five inch hill and up uh, close to the toe splay. Um, he's got like an eight inch and he's 17 inches long. It started to rain, waiting for uh, the print to dry. We put a plastic bag over. It's dry, it's ready to come up, but it's been raining so hard. We've been taking shelter where Bigfoot made this shelter. I think Jenny's getting her poncho. Brody's already got waterproof gear. I've got my cheap poncho on. My jacket's supposed to be water resistant or whatever. We were staying dry under here and there was a break in the rain and we went out to see if we could get it up and it started up again. So um, there was supposed to be a 0% chance of rain up here today. Obviously the weatherman's wrong. The Uinta Mountains uh, run opposite direction of the Rockies. The Rockies run north to south, and the Uintas run uh, east to west. They're inside the Rocky Mountains, but because of the, their position, they get a lot more moisture than most parts of the Rockies. We're going to get back into the structure, the bed site, possible Bigfoot bedding site, right by a 14-inch print, and off that way, we found a really nice 17-inch. Get back in here and wait for the rain to subside hopefully and go back down otherwise uh, we're gonna 
have to walk down in it, but I think we can see a clear spot in the sky coming. So hopefully it's blowing over.